Hey boys and girls, how we doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a bit of transfer news. Although the UK transfer window is shut, Saudi and many other leagues aren't as the Belgian side as well as Isaac Hayden's room might already be joining Royal Antwerp, I think it is, or it might be Standard League. Standard League is, that is the one. But today we're exclusively talking about Jamal LaSalle's possible departure out of the Saudi League. Another one what really excites me is Norwegian star boy coming to Newcastle United, Travis Hearns. He's already signed for the club. It was announced three days ago on the 1st of September by Ellie joined from Shrewsbury there's an undisclosed fee but a 20% on sell-on clause and there's add-ons as well now we don't know the actual fee but the sell-on clause is purely in profit so if we sell Travis Hearns for 10 million and the sell-on clause is 20% they will not get 2 million it's purely on profit so we don't actually know what the transfer fee is nobody's mentioned it whatsoever if you want to know a bit about Travis Hearns himself in his career I guess he started at Shrewsbury his whole life he's grew up through the ranks He's 17 years old as of now. Of course, he is Norwegian, but he has come through the Shrewsbury ranks. He made his debut last year against Wolves under-21s, and he actually scored a fantastic goal. I mean, I went and watched every single one of his highlights. Against Wolves, it was a right foot finish outside of the box in the bottom left corner. He does not look like a bad player at all. Now he's actually made six appearances for Shrewsbury and he's represented his country under 17 level again. And it was against another Scandinavian team, I think it was, but they were actually playing under 18. So he's pretty fit for his age and I really, really want to see more of Travis Hearns. As for the club of Shrewsbury, they could not be more less relentless to let him go. I mean, they said they were happy for him, a goal they wanted the best for him. And I really, really do appreciate that from another club. They just want the best for Travis Hearns. And they know that he'll probably succeed in Newcastle United, which is just absolutely fantastic. He also played at Elland Road in the AFL Cup, where they did lose 2-1, but they managed to score first. But yes, Travis Hearns has played at Elland Road. Another great experience for me, be playing in massive stadiums like that soon. Hopefully, Travis Hearns can come to Newcastle United, make an impact in the under-21 scheme, and then come to us. The fantastic football that looks like it. So, welcome to Newcastle United, Travis Hearns. And then we'll have Jamal Lascelles to Al Shabab. I mean, it's you're thinking the same as me. Absolute no-go. Is it because of his technical ability? No, nah, he's obviously not the best centre-back at the club. I mean, there's two better in him than Botman and Shaw. But our squad depth at centre-back is just not good whatsoever. I mean, with Botman being injured, we've seen Dan Byrne come into centre-back, Matthew Target go left-back. In my opinion, I don't want to sort the defence out, but Hall could go left-back, Livermento could go left-back, do you know what I mean? But no, no is the answer, and it's just got to be no as well. We do lose him for free next summer, but you don't want to cash in anyways. Like, we're on a very important situation right now. We cannot sell Jamal LaSalle's what, even if it's a hundred, well, I'd probably take a hundred million. But apart from that, I would not sell Jamal LaSalle's. It's just due to squad death. We don't have any numbers whatsoever. After him, it's Paul Dummett. And after him, it's Alex Murphy, who actually isn't that bad. I'd probably rather Alex Murphy in the first team. He had a great cameo against Rangers, and he looks like a good Irish prospect as well. I'd love to see him get some minutes in the Premier League. But aye, that's it for Transfer Talk. Thank you very much for coming to watch, lads. If you did like the video, smash the like and subscribe button. See you later.